Okay, so in this video, we're going to record an Android phone and that includes the audio using OBS. So the first tool that we are going to need is a tool called Screen Copy, and this will allow us to capture our Android phone screen. So if you don't have Screen Copy already installed, I did a video on exactly how to install it and get this all working. So I recommend that you watch that video. So I already have Screen Copy installed and working. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect our phone to Screen Copy, so SCR CPY, and we're going to use an option for the screen rotation. So we're going to lock the screen rotation in landscape. So we're going to type double dash rotation and I want to go 90 degrees counterclockwise. So I'm just going to hit one and press enter. We now have our phone screen on our desktop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up OBS and I'm going to underneath sources. So I've created a new scene just for this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to capture this window. So underneath sources, I'm going to press add and then I'm going to select window capture and let's just call this phone screen and press OK. And now what we need to do is we need to match the window title. So my window here is called pixel. So I'm going to select that window from this list. So here it is, it's screen copy pixel. So I'm going to click on that and you can see that we get our phone screen. So I'm now going to click OK and I'm just going to stretch this out to fill the whole screen. So now that's locked to the whole screen. So we can actually just minimize this. And if I just grab my phone and just flick it to the side, it doesn't seem to be updating. So for some reason, it doesn't update when this tool is minimized. So I'm going to move it off screen and that seems to work. So if you minimize the window for some reason, I'll do it again. Yeah, it doesn't pick up the changes. So I'm going to minimize it again and just see if that updates and no. So I'm moving the home screen around and nothing's happening. So you have to make sure that that window is visible. It doesn't matter if it's occluded by other windows, but it does matter if it's minimized. So make sure it's just not minimized. So there we are, we're capturing the phone screen. Now we're going to move on to audio. And for the audio, we're going to use Bluetooth to send the audio from our phone directly to our computer. And there's a video that I did on that, which you should follow at this point. So I'll just put the links to those videos in the description, but we end off installing this tool, which is the Bluetooth audio receiver after running some updates on Windows. And you can see that my phone is connected and we have an open connection. So if I open a music track and press play, you can probably hear the audio coming through now. So I'm just going to pause that. So the next thing that we need to check is if we just right click in the audio mixer, you can see I have desktop audio up here. I'm gonna right click that and click on advanced audio properties. And just make sure that these tracks are being recorded. So yep, yeah, they are, these tracks are all fine. So track one is desktop audio and track two is microphone audio. So your phone audio actually comes through your desktop audio. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to close this down because I'm actually using OBS to record this video and I'm just going to record some examples and you should see them on the screen now.
Okay, so that was just a quick example of the audio and the video and what you can expect. Um, something that I had to do was I actually had to change the rotation again, and I actually went through them a couple of times. For some reason, when Asphalt 9 started up, it did some weird things with the rotation. So I just had to go through a couple of the options just to test some of the other ones out. Um, finally got it sorted. So if you are recording an Android phone using OBS and using this technique, um, I'd probably recommend that you get an app that will forcibly lock the orientation of your device. So if you're primarily doing stuff that is going to be in portrait, lock it in portrait. If you're doing things that are landscape, lock it in landscape and just keep it like that. Because what tends to happen is as the orientation changes, it will tend to flip around in the OBS scene. So that's how to record your phone screen and audio using OBS. And this was all recorded totally wirelessly. So my phone was connected to my computer over Wi-Fi using screen copy and the audio is being sent to the same computer over Bluetooth. So I hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching. Goodbye.